I fuck with shawty cause she bought a business, ayy She independent and she on a mission, ayy Been through some shit but now it's better living, ayy What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, guys, we're going to be doing a super simple DIY, and we're going to be turning some jeans, old jeans, into shorts. As you can see, these jeans are super big around my waist, so I'm going to take in the waist, and I'm also going to cut them off right above the knee a little bit higher than right above the knee <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing today this is super simple super easy beginner friendly i promise see how much room we have in there we want to take all of that out and i'm going to remove it from the sides so when you have your pants on you just want to get an idea of how much you want to take in on the sides so I wanted to take in about an inch to an inch and a half on both sides of the jeans. So I'm just using my tailor's chalk to actually mark where I'd like to cut. So when you're marking with your tailor's chalk or marker, you want to make sure that you're going in a slant line. You don't want to go straight down. You want to go slanted because what you're doing is taking in your waist. You don't want to take too much from your hips and then you're not going to be able to get it on. So just make sure you're going into a slant motion and kind of connecting it to the hip. Next, I'm just going to put pins right where I marked it so my jeans won't be moving around while sewing. So after you have that part pinned, you can just cut off the excess right along the line that you drew. Just cut right straight across that line that you drew and that's what we'll be sewing. We will sew straight down both sides with a straight stitch. That's it. Back stitch as well to seal it in. And that's all you have to do for the sides. Now you want to fold your jeans in half so that you can mark off how long or how short you want your shorts to be. So once I found the length that I wanted my shorts, I'm just going to cut straight across. There's nothing complicated about this at all. Just cut straight across. And that's it. Now we have our jeans prepped for sewing and we're going to go sew the side seams back together. Remember when you're sewing to always end and begin with a back stitch so your stitching will not come apart. And when you're working with denim, you can 
change your needle to a denim needle and that's what i would suggest because it just helps you know make the process easier you won't break your regular needles that you have um another tip is to just take your time because this denim is thick and taking that through your machine can be a lot so just take your time when you're creating your pants it's super simple super easy don't overcomplicate it and use a straight stitch And that's it, we're done. I'm just gonna actually put a cuff in my shorts and you can do the same. That's how I like my shorts with a little cuff in it. So you can do the same, you can cut them shorter. It's all up to you. This is a super easy DIY. Anybody could do this. If you're a beginner sewer, I do suggest a project like this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let me know, have you made your own shorts before? Comment down below what you think. Comment down below any other methods that you know of to help turn pants into shorts. Don't throw those pants away. Reuse them, okay? We can make shorts out of them. You can wear these shorts to the beach. You can wear these shorts on a regular day. You can wear these shorts, okay? So don't throw those jeans away. Use those jeans. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> okay? But that's all I have for you guys. So make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, all of that. If you guys have any video suggestions, anything that you want to see from me on my channel, just let me know, okay? I'm here to give you all the flavor. So whatever you want to see, just let me know and I will be sure to create content for you guys that you all like. But that's it for me. May your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.